Is this a great looking group? Yeah! The beautiful people. It's my privilege and scary honor as a father of the bride to give the toast to the happy couple. I'd like to forewarn everybody that uh, there's a strong possibility they won't make it through this without choking up or crying, especially after that tear fest out there. So I want everybody right now to lower their expectations. It's always best with me. Stop it now. Stop it. There's several people that I would like to thank. First and foremost, Ray's moms. Laura and Dawn. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for helping me raise such an incredible daughter. Yeah, all right. All right. All right. I'd like to thank our friends and family to come that came from out of town to be with you here today. Our relatives on both sides. Jordan's parents, John and Susan, the grandparents for joining us today, and for the ones that couldn't be here today, they're surely in our thoughts. Uh, I, I know we left, but I'd also like to thank Jeff, uh, Judge Puffenberger for conducting the ceremony. Beautiful. Yeah, All right, my darling Ray. <laughs> you are so beautiful. <laughs> and I'm so proud of you. And what a wonderful woman you've become. It just seems like yesterday that I was at a Guns N' Roses concert <laughs> at the Toledo Speedway with my hand on my pager the entire night. That was well before cell phones ruled our lives. Anticipating it to go off at any minute, signaling that, there was, that it was time. But the concert ended, and when I made it home, your mother informed me that she was in labor. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but because it was so very, very late, and her water hasn't broken yet, I told her that it was just Braxton Hicks. <laughs> but your mother wasn't having it. So we eventually made it to the hospital, which started what started what seemed like a six months of total sleep deprivation. <laughs> but I couldn't have loved you more. So I went for watching one awesome performance to watch it you. Incredible awe. <laughs> Giving your own performance on live stage. It has been a very proud and a memorable experience. And we're very excited to see what comes left next. I love you, Morgan. Page two! Page two! <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> where do I begin? <laughs> well, let me officially welcome you to the family. Nice. I would like to thank your parents, John and Susan, for raising such a great young man. I'm sure they're very proud. <sighs> Now, <laughs> when you have a daughter, you have very high expectations 
for the, pus for the person who is one day going to take your place as a man in your life. You want her, of course, to be loved, cared for, be protected and safe. Treat with respect and laugh every day. And to help her achieve her hopes and dreams and cherish her as I do. Jordan, I believe you have met those high standards, and I couldn't ask for perfect son in law. And that's why I'm giving you one of the most important things in my life. <laughs> <laughs> So let's raise our glasses. Yeah. Woo! So new happy couple. Woo! Mr. and Mrs. Arvinaitis. May you be blessed with love, happiness, and humor. And remember to enjoy and live in the moment because life moves way too fast. Cheers. Cheers.